Hey Libra, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy here to bring you your September 2021 AB reading. For those of you who are regulars with the channel, thank you so much for all of the support and love in the various ways that you show it for the channel. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the request for private readings. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for, you know, those of you who... Uh, just show your love and support. Appreciate you. For those who are new, welcome. Hopefully you will subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post, which is usually every week. So for everybody, if you're not seeing my posts at least once a week up uh, on your feed, then that means that you may need to unsubscribe, refresh, and resubscribe, okay? Make sure you do that. That way you'll know when I post. So this is an A, <laughs> interesting, this is an A and B reading. Uh, you're going to decide who A is and then you're going to decide who B is. Now, if I was doing a personal reading for you, I would tell you, okay, you're person A and the other person is person B. But because I'm reading for so many different people, uh, and if we have an antagonist protagonist situation, a Libra could be the antagonist in one situation and a Libra could be the protagonist in another situation. So this is why I don't know what side you are. You have to determine that based on me reading the energy off the cards. Okay. So I'm going to put four cards out for person A four cards out for person B and then we're going to see how each other feels about the other and then what we'll do is we'll go into more detail in the extended and that link will be in the box below so if you find that you resonate feel free to uh, check out the extended you'll be able to order either a one-time viewing that you'll have access to for 48 hours or you can join the, pa the patreon monthly membership it's only five bucks a month and you get access to all extended videos and just about all of the videos I do, I do extendeds for them. There are some that I don't, but there are a lot of them. I do at least one, two, three, four sets of videos a month where I do extendeds. So you get access to all of your placements. So you can put pieces together of the, of the uh, scenarios and situations by checking out the extendeds. And again, it's only five bucks a month. The link for that's in the box below. So let's get person B's cars out. I hope all is well in the Libra community. You guys got um, Mercury in retrograde in your first house. And you got Mars there too. So, you know, there could be a lot of aggravation and frustration going on with this Mercury retrograde. If you didn't check out the Mercury retrograde reading I did for your placements, those are now up. Just go into the respective playlist of the sign that you want to check out. And check out the... Uh, Check out the Mercury retrograde reading. Mercury's going to be in retrograde. Uh, we're in the pre-shadow stages now, and we will at the post-shadow stages, we'll be out of it around Halloween. So between now and Halloween is officially Mercury retrograde season, okay? All right, one more card for Libra for person B, and we'll get this cracking. All right, so we got all the cards out here, so let's see what's going on. We're going to start with person A. Person A, we have the moon energy. I mean, the lover's energy. It came out in reverse. Okay, the lover's. In reverse. So this is Gemini energy. So Mercury retrograde in your first house. Now, the cards for person A, this is the uh, Leo energy of the strength card. Major arcana here. Then we have the page of pentacles that came out in reverse. That's Capricorn energy. We also have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which is Taurus energy. And we have the Four Cups, Cancerian energy. That's person A. So let's talk about person A. Hopefully that's even. Okay. So with person A, we have the Lover's energy in reverse. The Lover's energy represents, to me, when it's Gemini energy, it is karmic. Meaning that this is a past life. If it's a lover, it's a past life situation or it's a past life karmic situation coming back to haunt, haunt you. Um, whether this is a lover, a friend, or a family member or what. Um, just take the, reson take the situation how it resonates for you. But there's somebody who may have made a bad decision, a bad choice. Or there's a relationship that's coming to an end. Uh, so person A, the way they're looking at things is they're trying to uh, maintain control of a situation or they're standing up for themselves saying you know what this is not what it is i'm not doing this anymore it could be with the page of pentacle energy in reverse here that person b has shown some type of disloyalty to person a 
Okay, because the Page of Pentacles in reverse talks to me about disloyalty. All right, it talks to me about someone who's a fake friend. You know, when the Page of Pentacles is upright, this is somebody who wants to put in work, somebody who's coming to you sincerely. All right, but in reverse, they're not. They're just causing trouble. You know, this is also a troubled child. So if we're talking about children here, you know, it could be that, you know, somebody's losing patience with their child. Now, with the Five of Pentacles energy in reverse and the Four of Cups, the Five of Pentacles energy talks to me about um, financial situations getting better. Somebody maybe, um, as a result of feeling left out in the cold, they're getting some help, some psychological help. Maybe they're going to a psychologist or a psychiatrist uh, about a situation. Maybe they're having problems with their child, keeping their child in line or... Um, some issues with their child and so as a result they're going to get some type of psychiatric or psycho psychological treatment maybe it's for their child with the four of uh, cup energy here as well as the uh, five of pentacle energy in reverse they could be paying for a psychiatrist or a psychologist with the uh, five of pentacles in reverse and the four of cups because maybe they're trying to get control of the situation with their child their child could be acting out and they could be trying to, you know, say, okay, this child is acting out. They're a troubled child and they need some help. So let's call, um, let's call on some experts. Now let's see what's going on with person B. Now this story could change as I clarify. Person B, we got the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands talks about somebody being burdened. Someone um, doing everything they possibly can, but this, with the stacks, uh, with the chips stacked against them. Now with person B, we have major arcana of justice libra energy so this is you showing up in the reading you could be a or b though and then we have the queen of pentacle energy in reverse which is um capricorn energy we also have the sun card major arcana of leo so we got leo on both sides here and then we also have more leo energy with the seven of wands it came out in reverse so person b here is feeling really uh, burdened out by a situation. And the way they're looking at person A is... They may want to make things right because maybe they feel like they need to help person B. So these two could have a child together and they see that their child is going through some things. Okay? The child could be ill, too. Also with the Page of Cup energy. I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacle energy in reverse. Mentally ill. Okay, because we have, again, we have the four of, see the four of cups here. This is somebody who's going to a psychologist or a psychiatrist or, you know, somebody who's being evaluated. With this five of pentacle energy in reverse here, this is somebody who's paying for that. Okay, because they want to get in control of the situation here. So person B is like, okay, um, let's, do what, let's do whatever it is that we can uh, to get this person help, to get this child help. And so what they do is with the sun energy here, you know, this is somebody who wants to get to the bottom of things. They want to see what's going on and they're no longer going to uh, put up a fight or resistance. Now, this is not about a child. This is about these two who um, are not getting along. You know, person B is looking at person A like um, they want to do them right. It's like, look, I did you I did you wrong. I want to do you right. I see that I sent you over the edge here. Person A, the way they're looking at person B is, look, you know, I'm going to stand my ground. You're too much trouble to deal with. You're, you're too much trouble to deal with. And then person B is like, you know what, let me try to make things right. You know, because I was treating you bad is what I'm getting here. That's for some of you. Um... So person A could be saying, let's go to marriage counseling. That could be what's going on. And person B could be like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's try this. Let's see if that works. Let's take a look at these cards here. So we have the lover's energy in reverse, major arcana of Gemini. We have another major arcana, with the, which is the moon in reverse. We have the Six of Wands, which is uh, Leo, more Leo energy. And we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy. And we have the Two of Swords. So I feel like with Person A here, with the Lovers in Reverse and the Moon energy in Reverse, there could be jealousy here.
Because the moon, okay, uh, like I said, somebody has some mental, somebody has mental issues here. Somebody needs to see someone here. Either it's because these two are not getting along or there's somebody here who does have some psychological issues. With the moon energy in reverse and the lover's energy in reverse, I feel like someone made a bad choice. Someone made some type of bad decision based on their emotions, okay? Because what they wanted to do was they wanted to win. And so now they're forced to look at their actions with the eight of pentacles here and they're confused about why they did what they did. Or, you know, either they're confused about why they did what they did or they feel like, you know what, I didn't listen to my intuition. I didn't make the best choice. I did what I wanted to do. I did whatever made me happy. And with the ten of pentacles here, it was like about money. Could have been about money. Person B. Oh, okay. I see something else here. It could be a situation here where there's a pregnancy. Somebody may have tried to get someone pregnant to keep them around. But person B is tired. They're stressed out. With the um, emperor energy in reverse here, uh, this is somebody who could be having difficulty financially. And then we have the six of wands energy in reverse here where this person is feeling defeated. We have judgment energy in reverse. It's because maybe someone made a wrong decision or there was a power struggle that someone lost on. And then we got the two of swords. This is really interesting. Let's get some clarity. Let's get some clarity. Because I see similar cards. This side over here, person A has the six of wands upright. Person B has the six of wands in reverse. Uh, both of them had the two of swords. So. And there's a lot of Leo energy here between the both of you. So pride, ego. So somebody did something out of pride and ego. What's the strength energy? Because they were depressed about a situation or stressed about a situation. Somebody could be blaming someone. You did this to me and you drove me crazy. Type of thing. And somebody could be feeling like, yeah, I did. I did treat you like shit. I treated you bad. Somebody could be trying to lay a guilt trip on someone. What's the strength energy here? Yeah, we have the money energy in reverse. Mm -hmm. Somebody's trying to control somebody for money. Clarify this page of pentacle in reverse. That's why I said, let me get to clarifying, because I see something is up here. Something is up. That's why I said this is very interesting. We're going to find out what's going on here. So, yeah, we have the friend energy in reverse, disloyal energy. Somebody was disloyal with the friend energy in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse. So person A is looking at person B like, yo, you're not, you, you, ain't, you wasn't right to me. You treated me dirty. You treated me wrong. Person A is looking at person B like, you know, you tried to you tried to control me with money. Or you're not helping me out with your kid. Something like that. Yeah, there's the sirens. Clarify okay, five of pentacles in reverse is clarified with. Yeah. The pleasure seekers card in reverse. So person A is looking at this like. You know, this is not funny leaving me with no money. You know, you, you, you're, you're taking the money away from me. This is four of cups. We have the, so, the soldier energy in reverse. So, yeah, somebody... Uh, somebody regrets letting their, letting their guard down. They regret trusting somebody. Person A regrets trusting person B. Let's see what's up with this person B energy. This is the justice energy we're clarifying. Justice is clarified with the merchant energy. Somebody going to court about some um, money or some job could be child support. Clarify this pay, this queen of pentacle energy in reverse. Yeah, we have the wife energy in reverse. So some of y'all could be going through a divorce. But you see the wife has a child here. So there could be child support. Or there could be a situation where somebody's not the child's. Yeah, for some of y'all, this is what you're dealing with. You're finding out a child is not yours. Yeah, because the sun card and falseness. Yeah, somebody finding out a child is not there. That's why I'm like, yo, something's up. So person B finds out that the child that they have with person A is not theirs. So with the seven of wands and the house energy reverse, they move out. So this page of pentacles then is a child. So what it was, was person A was upset because person B was about to be out. So what person A said is, okay, you're not going nowhere. I'm going to get pregnant by you. 
or I'm going to tell you I'm pregnant so that you don't go nowhere. But person B realizes after a while that it's, it, person A was lying about the pregnancy. It could have been that person A wanted to move in with person B and they lied and said they was pregnant. Person, person A lied about some shit. They was dishonest and they was disloyal. What they was trying to do was stop person B from going to be with someone else. Yep, because person B had somebody else they were seeing with the friend energy in reverse. Person A was trying to stop person B from going to be with who they wanted to be with. Yep, person B was stressed. They don't want the relationship anymore with the emperor energy in reverse. They feel like it's a lost cause with the six of wands in reverse. With judgment in reverse, they feel like they made a bad decision. And so with the two of swords, they're trying to figure out what they need to do. With the Six of Pentacles here, I feel like there's court and they're going to be paying um, child support or alimony. But I feel like with the King of Cups energy in reverse here, this person is, you know, basically keeping this on the low. They're not saying anything, especially with the Moon energy. But this person is brokenhearted about the situation. Person B is brokenhearted about this. Yeah, see, person A lied. Person A definitely lied. That's what this um, lover's energy in reverse is about. Person A was jealous because person B had somebody else. That's what that moon energy in reverse is about, jealousy. So person A was mad because person B was moving on with somebody else. And person A wanted to win at all costs. So they came up with this plan with the Eight of Wands, I mean with the Eight of Pentacles, uh, to figure out with the Two of Swords how to keep person a with the nine of cups okay and and get money with the ten of pentacles because it, they didn't want person b to give the money to somebody else or to, to be spending money on somebody else yeah so with this queen of sword energy in reverse this is libra energy so there's a dirty libra out here doing this with the ace of wands in reverse she lied and said she was pregnant because she didn't want she, her intention was to take, oh wow, with the Queen of Cup energy in reverse and the Emperor energy in reverse. Yeah. Yeah, so somebody, this is karma. Somebody's getting their karma. Somebody's finding out that somebody lied about a pregnancy uh, because, or somebody lied about money, needing money for a pregnancy or needing money for a, an abortion. That's for some of you. Others of you, this person is mad. Person A is mad because person B was trying to move on to be with someone else. So person A lied and said, oh, I'm pregnant Why? I'm pregnant by you. And so I, I feel like for some of you, person A ended up moving in with person B and then it comes out. So, you know, person uh, B is like, you know what? You're fake. You're fake and I want you out. Or it could be person A got somebody else pregnant and person B finds out about it. Person A could have been lying about it. You know, there could have been a man who was dealing with a woman. And he stepped outside the relationship and got somebody else pregnant. And his partner found out about it and put him out. Or wants a divorce and wants separation. Or there is a woman here who lied to a man about a child being his. And it's now found out that the child is not his. That she slept with his friend, actually. With the uh, page of pentacle in reverse in the friend card. So for some of you, you're dealing with a woman who's pregnant by your friend. Because she wanted to control your money. This woman was somebody who you might have been taking care of while y'all was together. And you may have decided that you want to be with somebody else. And she knows that. And so she did all kinds of devilishment to keep you around. She even probably fronted like she had a nervous breakdown. She could have fronted as if she needed to go to the doctor. She wasn't well. She could have fronted like she was sick. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the extended. We're going to clarify this. So if this resonates with you or someone you know, make sure you click the like button and leave a comment on how it resonates with you or someone else. If this is not your reading, don't try to make it fit. Okay. If it's not your reading this week, it's just not your reading. You want to go ahead and uh, check the other readings that I have listed. They should be on the screen now. So check those out instead uh, or check your other placements. So without further ado, we're going to head to the extended. Feel free to join the links in the box below. Oh, if you need a personal, my information is in the box below as well. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. So we're going to the extended. I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye, Libra.